weird plants that actually exist. Our world has no shortage of unique and varied life forms, that's for sure. You might not see some of the strangest things the world has to offer on your daily commute, so we've decided to collect some of the strangest looking plants in the world all in this list. Who knew that these mutant, crazy plants could exist on good old planet Earth? Crazy stuff. Get ready for some truly weird plants that actually exist. Number 23, Wellwitcha marabilis. This here plant ain't too gorgeous, but there's nothing else like it in the entire world. The plant is made up of only two large leaves and an extremely sturdy stem and some roots, and that's all there is to it. The root just gets thicker and thicker instead of growing upward like most plants, although they can still reach around two meters tall. But listen to this, they can grow to be eight meters wide. What? That's massive. They live for anywhere between 400 and 1500 years, and they can survive with no rainwater for up to five years. It's the world's most resistant plant, and I feel like that's a pretty good start to our list. Number 22, Amorphophallus titanum. Okay, so now that we've had a good start, we might as well continue and move on to the plant that is known as the corpse flower. Why? Well, because this thing stinks. Like, I'm not even kidding. It smells like rotting, nasty flesh, and is colored appropriately to mimic rotting flesh. This thing here is quite the plant, it's pretty rare, and actually has the world's largest inflorescence. It's like something out of a horror movie that has to do with plants, something you'd see in Jumanji or something. Yikes. Number 21, Rafflesia. If a plant looks like it's about to come alive and eat your head, you really might not want to get too close. The monstrous flower is native in southeastern Asia on Indonesia, Malaysia, Borneo, Thailand, and also the Philippines. This tropical flower is the single largest flowering plant in the world. These can weigh up to a whopping 22 pounds and measure about 3 feet wide on average. It is also famous, or rather infamous, for its distinct smell. No, it's not as fragrant as a rose, but rather emits the stench of rotting meat that can be smelled from several yards away. The Rafflesia is a parasitic plant that feasts off the nutrients of nearby roots, adding to its zombie-esque aesthetic. Rather than relying on a sweet scent to attract birds, bees, and butterflies for pollination, it uses its stench to attract other insects, like flies, in their place. Number 20, Peter Red Pepper. Let's just say there's a reason this pepper is called a peter. We, as humans, tend to have the want to control the evolution of other organisms in a process called selective evolution. We pretty much engineered these silly looking peppers to look like this by breeding a regular pepper to have a more, uh, endowed appearance. Number 19, Doll's Eyes. The horrific plant you see before you is known as Doll's Eye and can mainly be found in the eastern areas of the North American continent mainly Eastern Canada and the Eastern United States. Not only does this plant look creepy, it can actually kill you. Those little berries contain cardiogenic toxins. These chemicals have an immediate effect on the human muscle, causing them to stop working almost immediately. Number 18, Chinese Fleece Flower. What you see before you is not hand carved. It is in fact the root of the Chinese Fleece Flower. They are known for their truly strange shapes, which don't always look this human, but pretty frequently do. It's enough to freak out anyone who happens to be yanking fleece flower out of the ground. It also strongly resembles the mandrake from witch folklore. At least in real life, these things don't shriek until you die. Number 17, Starfish Cactus. Sure, this cactus has a whimsical name, but when you hear what it smells like, you're gonna wonder why everyone doesn't call it by its alternative name, the carrion flower. This flowering cactus smells just like rotting carcass, a sickeningly sweet smell that it uses to lure insects towards it, pretty similar to other carnivorous plants. Number 16, Crab's Eye, Abrus precatorius. Also known as crab's eyes or rosary peas, are a plant native to Indonesia where the beads are cultivated and used in percussion instruments. However, these seeds are highly poisonous because of their high content percentage of abrin. Abrin is a chemical that poisons you on a cellular level. It contains two proteins that allow it to disrupt the processes of a cell and starts to shut them down. This results in nausea, vomiting, liver failure, and after a few days of suffering, death. Luckily, if you eat these seeds for some reason without breaking the shell, you should be safe from the harmful chemicals. Number 15, Giant Hogweed. The giant hogweed might look like a cute piece of foliage from a Van Gogh painting, but any contact with the sap from the hogweed can cause phytophotodermatitis. That is a condition that makes your skin sensitive to UV rays, which can cause long-lasting scars, blisters, it can even blind you if it makes contact with your eyes. Ironically, it was actually introduced to Western Europe as a decorative plant before it started to grow in the wild in that area. At some point in history, Europeans were using this highly toxic plant as house decor. Number 14, Dragon Blood Tree. This bizarre looking tree is native to the Socotra Archipelago in the Arabian Sea and is named after its signature red sap. It's the most well known of all the trees on the island of Socotra because of its densely packed umbrella-like appearance. The dragon blood sap was highly prized in the ancient world as both a dye and a medicine. 
Sadly, modern efforts to conserve this plant have been difficult due to an increase in tourism. Number 13. Cedar Apple Rust Fungus This repulsive looking thing is a specific strain of rust fungus that tends to infect cedar apple trees. When it matures, it looks like an alien has successfully taken control of an apple and has started sprouting tentacles. It is a pretty proliferous fungus and easily spreads to other apple trees. Yes, you could walk into a nightmare of an apple orchard where every tree is growing these monstrous looking things. Number 12. Bleeding Tooth Fungus this terrifying fungus gets its name for an obvious reason. The gross pods that grow out of it resemble human blood. The underside of this fungus also looks a lot like the toothy maw of an alien creature. It is also described as inedible, although it's unclear what human on earth would attempt to eat anything growing out of the ground that looks like this. Number 11. Chinese Black Bat Flower This creepy looking plant is known by its scientific name, Taka Shantriri, and is commonly found in Southeast Asia. However, I wouldn't be surprised if you've seen this flower in your nightmares. They are surprisingly a part of the yam family, but I don't think you can make a Thanksgiving pie out of this flower. Number 10, Devil's Claw. This otherworldly plant might look like a spiny hazard you want to avoid, but actually many people seek out this plant for its medicinal qualities. Devil's Claw, also known as Unicorn Plant, is found mainly in Botswana. Folk medicine proponents believe it to have compounds that can treat a whole array of chronic pain as well as things like inflammation, back pain, and even osteoporosis. However, this has not yet been proven in any official clinical capacity. Number 9. Impatience This little pixie flower is known by many whimsical names such as Touch Me Not, Jewelweed, Snapweed, and even Busy Lizzie. It is notable for its resemblance to tiny fairy-like creatures in vibrant colors as well as its beneficial medicinal qualities. It has active ingredients that work as an anti-inflammatory agent and can be used to treat insect bites and bee stings. It even shares some of the same components of Preparation H. Number 8. Snapdragon Flowers These flowers are some of the most strikingly beautiful flowers in the world, known for their vibrant colors and beautiful patterns. However, if you leave these flowers to decay, they begin to transform into something sinister looking. Their buds look more like skulls and their green stems turn a lifeless gray. As long as you don't leave a bouquet of these at your valentine's house for too long, you'll probably be fine though. Number 7. Mimosa pudica Literally known as the shy plant, this unassuming plant has some very striking behavior. This plant is truly introverted and really doesn't like to be touched. If it is brushed up against or shaken, the leaves begin to curl up and hide. The leaves begin to reopen within minutes. I guess plants really can have feelings too. Number 6. Buddha's hand plant Have you ever gone to eat a lemon but thought, this fruit looks too normal? Well, here's your savior, the Buddha's hand. This fruit basically looks like a lemon that someone accidentally glitched in a video game. It is actually highly valued in China as an ornamental fruit and is used mostly as decoration and is occasionally zested for garnishing. It does not produce much juice though, despite being a citrus fruit. Number 5. Octopus Stinkhorn Also known as a sea anemone mushroom, this fungus looks like it's straight from that 80s horror movie, The Thing. Those red tentacles don't always exist on the stinkhorn, they only burst out when the fungus has reached full maturity. At that point, its tentacles fling out and spread its rotting smell that attract a whole slew of disgusting insects toward it. Number 4. Gimpy Gimpy Imagine if plants could fight back when we manhandled them. Well, this one can. The Gimpy Gimpy is a plant native to Australia, which makes sense because all of Earth's messed up organisms live there, and is covered in tiny, almost invisible hairs that are as sharp as a syringe. Getting pricked by one of these hairs will deliver a blinding pain that can last for up to a year. The pain has been described similar to feeling a burning hot acid sensation against the skin. Number 3. Death Apple Tree With a name like that, this plant must be completely harmless, right? They are found alongside Caribbean shores in Florida, the Bahamas, Mexico, etc, etc. These trees produce a highly caustic sap that can burn your skin and cause irreparable damage. If you think that these trees should be eradicated, good luck trying, as you couldn't even burn them down if you wanted to. If one of them catches fire, the smoke that its wood produces could cause permanent blindness. And of course, the small green fruits that it grows could result in death if consumed. Number 2. Porcupine Tomato Weeds are already pretty annoying. But imagine if those weeds were also covered in huge, poisonous thorns. That is basically what a porcupine tomato is, an invasive species of plant that sports hundreds of these red-orange spikes all around. It's hard to kill, but you should definitely try to kill it as soon as you spot it, as it spreads quickly and grows just as fast too. Becoming a bush that is 8 feet tall and 8 feet wide in what seems like a blink of an eye. Number 1. Baobab These otherworldly trees seem like they're from a far off planet, but they actually grow right here on Earth. They are found mainly in the arid regions of Madagascar, mainly Africa, 
and Australia. They are sometimes called bottle trees for their unique shape. While they might not look anything like a fruit-bearing tree, the fruits of a baobab are highly sought after for their health benefits.